Et salut à toutes et tous, alors c'était pas prévu que je refasse de vidéo, mais il y avait ce petit jeu indé euh, qui sortait un metal euh, dont j'avais très très envie de parler. Et donc euh, bah voilà, je vais vous proposer, je sais pas si ce sera un let's play ou juste une vidéo découverte sur euh, ce petit jeu. Donc moi je joue sur PC euh, à la manette, je l'ai pris sur GOG mais il est disponible aussi sur Steam, il est sur Switch, PS4, PS. Je ne sais pas, Xbox One, je crois que oui, et euh, je ne sais pas s'il est sur série X, série S, etc. Bref, euh, alors j'ai pas de son, est-ce que c'est parce qu'il n'y a plus de son, ou est-ce que c'est non, c'est juste parce que je n'ai pas branché mes casques, super, et que c'était avec le micro de la cam. Voilà, alors éventuellement. Non, j'ai rien. Alors, alors. Ah, ça y est. Retour à tout ça. Euh, les réglages au schnapps, bien évidemment, sinon ça ne serait pas. Once upon a time, a Soviet war helicopter entered Allied territory. The aircraft was intercepted and shot down. As the pilot emerged from the wreckage, he was arrested by the same bastards who shot him down. And later was brought to a military base for interrogation. That pilot was me. Name? My name is Fox. Jesse Fox. You don't seem to be Russian. Russian? Me? You were piloting a Russian aircraft two hours ago. I also drive a Toyota and I'm not Japanese. All right, Mr. Fox. Before arresting you, I'm obligated to write down a report with your version of the facts. So tell us what the hell you were doing in that heavily armed Soviet helicopter. It's a long story. Sergeant, bring us some coffee. Yes, sir. Wachowski, bring the lieutenant some coffee. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Fox, we have plenty of time. Explain what happened. In 1972, a crack commando unit threw me in a prison for a crime I didn't commit. You're under arrest for a crime you didn't commit! <laughs> I promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the underground, trying to survive from these soldiers of fortune. Et à chaque fois que je dois jongler avec la cam, ça ça ça. Let's start from the beginning. How did you escape from that cell? Piece of cake. I just had to write a note. A note? Where'd you get the paper from? I used toilet paper. I see. And how did you find a pen? A pen? I was in a dirty, grimy cell, not in an office. I wrote the note with a rusty wire, using my own blood as ink. I scratched my arm with the wire and got to work. It wasn't easy. The toilet paper tore under the pressure of the bloody wire. Those bastards gave us cheap paper, one ply, unscented and unpatterned. Why did you break the toilet? Why not grab the paper like a normal person? You know how prison is. It's kill or be killed. And I wasn't going to be killed by some dirty toilet. Hey, you moron! Holy Jesus! You schmuck, do you really think I'd be stupid enough to kill myself? Kill myself? Ugh. I 
left the guard locked in the cell. Then I threw away the key and got out of there. Mr. Fox, what about the noose? Where did you get that from? Where did I get the noose? Are you seriously asking me that? I am, Mr. Fox. I'll tell you later. De bonne parodie de, de Metal Gear. Euh... When leaving the cell, I found myself in a prison yard surrounded by some buildings. There were piles of boxes and other stuff here and there. And the ground was plain dirt. Oh, and it was night. That box contained some filthy cloth scraps. I made some handy bandages to prepare for when I would get wounded. Bad news, dirty cloth rags don't heal you. They just stop the bleeding, and I ain't got time to bleed. Good news, I could reuse these rags as much as I wanted. Good dirty cloth is hard to come by. I thought everyone would be asleep at night, that it was safe to escape. I was dead wrong. I noticed the presence of... One guard on the night shift. Ce qui est bien, c'est que ça permet d'influencer un peu sur l'histoire. injured and losing blood. I had to heal that wound before I bled to death. Why did you keep punching those crates? What did you expect to happen? Nothing in particular. Then why this gratuitous violence? I don't know. I suppose I got lost in the moment. You know, for being imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit. <laughs>
Whoops. Hey, over here. Hello? You talking to me? Affirmative. My name is Colonel Alan Harris, 5th Battalion. I'm Jesse Fox. Right? I'm not military, Colonel. Then tell me, Fox, what the hell are you doing here? I've been jailed for a crime I didn't commit. Do you know how to get out of here? Try to escape through any sewer. There must be one nearby, cause it stinks when it's hot. Once outside, move along at nighttime and sleep during the day. What about you, Colonel? I've been tortured. My legs won't make it. But if you bring me a radio, I can help you escape. Hold on, Harris. Are you sure you heard him say Alan Harris? Yes, sir. Saw him yesterday. Look, Mr. Fox, Colonel Harris died a month ago in an ambush. Well, it's the name that stubborn old man gave me. I see. I'll write down on the report that you talked to Colonel Harris after his death. Continue your story. As I was saying, I searched for a radio to bring him. Euh, parce qu'elle cache les lignes de dialogue. Mais je sais pas si là c'est vraiment mieux. Ah oui, parce que je suis pas sûr le dessus. Euh, non, je cache encore. Euh, où est-ce que je serais le mieux Top. On va se mettre là. Euh, chercher la sortie et chercher une radio pour le colonel Harris. Mais est-ce qu'il y a un lien avec euh, le pain de mie ou pas La grande question. Under some crates, I found my salvation. A sewer hole. There was no ladder and I couldn't see the bottom. I needed to find a ladder or rope if I wanted to go down. took a coin off the guard. Money? What'd you intend to spend it on? I suspect there's no shops open for an escapee on a midnight run. Who said anything about spending? I used it to distract soldiers. I quickly found out that guards love picking up free coins off the ground. I heard something. What was that? Yeah. I picked up the guard's radio. Without encryption, I knew other guards could listen in on my conversations with Harris. I see. You still haven't told me how you got that news. I'll tell you later. As I was saying, I needed to find a special encryption circuit to install in the radio. the circuit. I just had to attach it to the radio. With the modified radio, I could speak to Harris with no one listening. Now? I just had to bring it to him. And the noose? Later. Here you are. 
you are, Colonel. A radio. I've modified it to encrypt the signal. Oh, good job, son. Do you have another one for you? Not yet. I'll call you through channel one as soon as I find another. Good luck, son. And Godspeed. Come on, stand up. Buddy, I have no paper. Can you bring me some? Here you are. Thanks, man. You saved my ass, literally. <laughs> You broke down the door and attacked a guard <laughs> while he was on the toilet? Yes. I beat the shit out of him. Is that a joke? No. I literally beat the shit out of him. That toilet paper wasn't unscented anymore. Let's move on. I don't so sure. Papier toilet usage, putain. You stole a one-eyed man's patch? A one-eyed man that would shoot me without hesitation. Because it was his job, what you did was macabre and suggest you might have a fetish. Holy Jesus. Well, that patch turned out to be handy to create a lethal weapon. You removed his glass eye too? <laughs> yes. I took it out of his eye socket to chill out. To chill out? Pulling out glass eyes relaxes you? I'm not a sadist. I didn't enjoy pulling it out. But it helped when I rolled it around in my mouth like candy. <laughs> I was under a lot of pressure. Too much stress and I'd end up making a mistake. Too sure.
cette jeune, on n'a pas encore euh, de quoi les tirer. I ran into a guard as I went in. Luckily, the guy was sleeping. That bastard was going to have a rude awakening. The lethal weapon you created with the patch was a slingshot? Sort of childish, don't you think? What were you gonna shoot? Pebbles? Depleted uranium balls. Three shots and goodbye guard. With those first aid kits, I could disinfect and heal my wounds. Good news, those kits stopped any bleeding and also healed my wounds over time. Bad news, once you used them, they were gone. N'empêche que c'est pratique là de savoir que les, euh, les ennemis ils vont dans, ils voient dans ce sens là et dans ce sens là, enfin en fonction de quand t'arrives. Hey, bro, help me. Get me out of this hole. If you're in a cell, it's because you committed a crime. And I don't free criminals. But 
You're a prisoner too. I've been imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit. Fuck you. Hey friend, I'm also innocent. That's what they all say. Please, they keep the key in that box. Hold on, I'm opening it. Thanks, dude. Oh, what a pity. The key broke. You bastard! Hasta la vista. Make it better. Hey, Mike, can you tell them again? Of course. The Sarge says to the soldier, Someone sent you a blank letter. The soldier says, It's from my wife, Sergeant. How do you know that, soldier? Because we argued and we don't talk to each other. Okay. The soldier says to his captain, Sir, I need to request leave for this weekend. Why do you need it, Private? I'm gonna have a baby, sir. Escaping prisoner! Oops, bon ben voilà, première mort. Hey Mike, can you tell them again? Of course. The Sarge says to the soldier, Someone sent you a blank letter. The soldier says, It's from my wife, Sergeant. How do you know that, soldier? I reached a special place where I found something. What, Mr. Fox? It was... What was it? Damn, I can't remember. What's in your closet, Private? It's water, sir. Don't lie to me. This is wine. Praise the Lord. Hey, a coin. You're not going to pick it up, right? Yeah, why not? Come on, Mike. It's the oldest trick ever. As soon as you crouch down, smack! Smack what? The owner will show up and kick your ass. The Sarge says to the soldier, Someone sent you a blank letter. The soldier says, It's from my wife, Sergeant. How do you know that, soldier? Because we argued and we don't talk to each other. Did you hear that? 
Could it be an escaping prisoner? Being so noisy? Nah, maybe it's Mike playing a joke on us. Just pay no attention. The Sarge says to the soldier, Someone sent you a blind- Escaping prisoner! Ah! Ça tire pas à tout ce que je fais. De bunette là. The soldier says to his captain, Sir, I need to request leave for this weekend. Escaping prisoner! radio encrypted, I could talk to Harris. I wouldn't have been able to escape without his help. I hate to admit it, but the grumpy old man gave some good advice. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found a rope to go down the sewer. And you're not down yet? What the hell are you waiting for? I'm on it, Colonel. I got ready to use the rope to go down, but I couldn't find anywhere to tie it. I needed a hook or something to anchor it to the edge of the hole.
profiter de la... Pour la rater. my lighter back. What lighter? You <laughs> bastard. Screw yourself in that cell. that damn grenade guy. I wanted to punch the hell out of him, but I couldn't reach him. Why couldn't you reach him? There was a ditch. A simple ditch stopped you? This was no mere simple ditch. It was full of tentacles <laughs> and blood-stained spears that moved up and down and bony arms that tried to grab me and deadly lays okay okay mr <laughs> fox i get it you couldn't reach him for your own good i'll not include the spears arms and tentacles in my report now mr fox please continue your story all right the fight began as he tossed the first grenade at me Oh, yeah, now I remember. <laughs> Running away, I'll be stupid, but not a coward. <laughs> Oh, yeah, now I remember. Putain, le vieux. 
John qui fait n'importe quoi. Oh, no, I... oh yeah <rire> Je t'en crois qu'on va l'entendre souvent. Oh putain. Oh c'est de pire en pire je crois. Oh putain. Heureusement, c'est pas en live. <rire> Putain, je peux... Oh, le pire. Oh, yeah, now I remember. J'arrêterai cette vidéo quand je l'aurai vendu. Tant pis si je dois faire du montage. Oh là. yeah! En vrai, je pense que j'aurai rien fait. avant peut-être qu'on pourrait résister un peu à des dégâts je sais pas tu vois. Bon, moi je suis même pas sûr que ça nous aiderait à résister je pense qu'on se fait toujours moins de choses Stupid, but not a coward. Oh, 
directionnel hein, parce que au joystick ça se fait oh yeah running away non, i'll be stupid Oh yes. Boss defeated. I searched the grenade guy. Wait, wasn't there a ditch? I used the bridge. What bridge? But you told me you couldn't cross the ditch. Because I didn't see it at first. I was completely focused on my opponent, the grenade guy. I see. I couldn't see the bottom of that hole, but I anchored the rope and I went down. Let's go. Stage complete. I anchored the rope and went down into the pitch darkness. Finally, I touched ground. I was in a sewer composed of narrow passages. There were channels of rotten water and narrow sidewalks, and the typical pipes and waste everywhere. It smelled like shit. The putrid air was barely breathable. But once my lungs got used to that stench, I started to investigate my surroundings. First off, I had to check the depth of the water. Dipped the severed arm in the water to calculate the depth. As soon as I did, it started shaking. When I pulled it back out, there was nothing but bones. I couldn't explain what I saw, but my instincts told me this water might be dangerous. I'm not gonna lie. I had trouble getting where I needed to go. In fact, I had to build a floating platform to get through. Worse yet, Everything down there was out for my blood. Hold on, Mr. Fox. What exactly did you say attacked you? What you just heard. Some sort of hybrid between piranha and human. 
A human piranha attacked you? I see. And in your opinion, could you elaborate how this hybrid could exist? That question kept gnawing at the back of my brain the entire day. I dwelled on it over and over again. And after seeing everything I saw on that base, their facilities, their experiments, their labs, I reached the only logical explanation. And what was that, Mr. Fox? <laughs> that a woman, hell-bent on becoming a mother, was unable to afford standard artificial insemination. So she sought illicit services on the black market instead. And you know how the black market is. They scam you with any fake shit. She took up an offer from a back alley doctor who did the operation as requested. But she had yet to find out that she was actually fertilized with piranha sperm. Jesus, poor woman. <laughs> Months passed and she became the mother of a school of human piranha hybrids. The horrified woman flushed them down the toilet. They ended up in the sewers, where they would keep reproducing, creating a colony of human piranha hybrids. The same ones that attacked me. That's me. I answered the call before leaving. I answered the call before leaving. It wasn't wise to use weapons there. Son, do you copy? Copy, Colonel. I've been trying to contact you. There was no signal down in the sewers. Have you already escaped? Where are you now? Not much progress. I should still be near the prisons. Are you kidding me, Fox? You're still too damn close. You need to travel farther before coming topside. I know, but there are sewer channels blocking my way. Then build something to cross them, Fox. Find some materials. Where are you exactly? I think I'm in the office of some sort of officer. You should search for classified files about Operation Jericho. Take them with you. They're up to something. I don't know what. We must find out. The first file was about an attack plan. Its code name was Operation Jericho. I couldn't find many details because it was encoded. But anyone could understand a chart about casualties. Its lines went all the way to the top. Before leaving the office, I called Harris to let him know that I found the files. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found some documents. Operation Jericho. Looks like it talks about an attack plan. Oh, attack against what, son? I have no idea. It's encoded. I'll keep searching for more documents, Colonel. Operation Jericho is a rumor only known by a few officers and, of course, the enemy. How did you find out about it, Mr. Fox? As I told you, Colonel Harris asked me to search for files about it. The deceased Colonel Harris, yes. I had the feeling that this officer didn't believe anything I was saying. <laughs> it's understandable. I don't believe you either. Oh, really? Well, Miss Incredulous, why ask me to tell you the story? Well, I like the way you tell it. And since there are no theaters here. Great. So, 
What was Operation Jericho? Turns out that location was actually a clandestine base, with a company codenamed X-Army, commanded by someone named General X. They were planning a large-scale attack against Allied posts. And that plan was? Be patient. That comes later. Hey! Don't be like that. Come on, tell me! The officer that was taking my statement was also curious about what I knew. And what exactly do you know about Operation Jericho, Mr. Fox? That it was a hell of an operation. Harris and I knew the details thanks to the files we found. Correction, I found. Again, how much did you exactly find out? Let me continue. You'll find out later. Roscoe here. What? Escaped? How? Through the sewers? Shit! No, don't send anyone. If he hides like a rat, he will die like a rat. Switch on the shredders! Huh. Did I just hear a rat? Get out from your hole, you cowardly vermin! Look what the cat dragged in. The escaped prisoner. We've got some big balls coming here, rodent. The situation was foobar. He was armed and hunkered down behind his desk. I was screwed. So what did you do? In five nanoseconds, I scrutinized the room and noticed a very subtle detail. There is a large globe in the middle of the room. I already had what I needed to take him down. What? <laughs> Allez, on essaye de se faire ce boss là et puis on s'arrête. <laughs> Just here.
Ok. <rire> Ça va être chiant. C'est la balle de toute façon. Huh. Did I just hear a rat? Aujourd'hui 28 septembre à 19h. me off! Thank <laughs> you. 
pissing me off! Defeated.
Euh, de toute façon, là, nous sommes mardi 28 au soir. Si euh, mercredi soir, euh, il n'y a pas de retour, bon, après, je me doute bien qu'en une journée, il n'y en aura pas forcément. Euh, si, mettons, jeudi midi, il n'y en a pas, euh, je continuerai le jeu de mon côté. Et tant pis pour vous. Voilà. Allez, là-dessus, je vous dis à ciao, à plus. Alors, de ce côté-là, c'est mieux. A ciao, à plus, et peut-être, peut-être pas, pour de futures vidéos. Allez, ciao, bye, bye.